Sheryl Crow came on stage to play harmonica, and Alex didn't realize, our DJ, that she was gonna play harmonica, so she's about to play, and then he put the sample of harmonica, <laughs> and it's like, Bram! and she's like, what the heck is going on? It's really funny. <laughs> Photo with Sarah McLaughlin at Lilith Fair, late 90s. At the end of each night of concerts at Lilith Fair, we would all get on stage and sing a song. That may be something we're practicing. She also came out on stage with us pretty much every night. And I hung out with the guys playing guitar. That was fun. All and then all the we girls singing. would sing, everybody who was up, and they'd really show off. <laughs> That's Manny. He was my mom's boyfriend when I was about six, from age six to 10 or something. And um, he was 17 and she was 34 when they were together. We just had all these crazy photos around the house and I showed some to Jill and she's like, yeah, record cover, let's do it. Yeah, he, he embodied our childhood in a way, just that crazy 70s, like free spirit, you know? Because we grew up in Greenwich Village in the East, East Lower East Side and the 70s, and uh, it was such a different time in New York. We were using 70s sounds on In Search of Manny. We used a lot of 70s funk sounds and, and soul, and, and uh, so I, I felt like, I guess I responded to the fact that he was like this major 70s character, the open shirt, and like, you know, right? Yeah, definitely. So that is a picture of Deborah Harry from Blondie. At Tony Visconti's house. He was recording a song called Fantastic Fabulous with us, and he called Debbie Harry on the phone, and then she left a voicemail. She came over, sang, but we used the voicemail on the song as well, and she sang the back, and, you know, she sang with me on the chorus and did a bunch of stuff, so amazing person. Oh, look at ah, us. Ah, the video, yes. That picture's from a video we did for the song Daughters of the Chaos that was on our first record, In Search of Manny. And it was directed by Tamara Davis, who is an amazing video director and filmmaker. And we just ran around LA in really silly clothes. Um, it was great. Kind of looking like hookers. Actually, when we look back <laughs> on it, we did look like hookers, but we had no idea back then. We thought our style was like really awesome. I think, the, I think the video looks great, but when you look at it and you some see of the like, shots are like next to a cheap motel. Someone's walking along. You know, like, Vivian's like opening a car door. And it just looks like she's coming chauffeur. out of a, a, a hotel, yeah. the side of the road hotel. <laughs> and Spike Jones was the um, cinematographer on it. You know, we were doing it on the sly, like we had no permits. So we were just kind of, you know, the, the sneaky locations. video, we were yeah. sneaking around and it was really, really fun. 